Hello, I'm James. Um, I basically live at Sussex. I'm a historian. I'm a 2015 SSI fellow. I edit something called the Programming Historian, and I'm the person who sort of started Library Carpentry with wonderful seed funding from the SSI. Um, I, one of the things I work on is contemporary history and contemporary archives. I've got interesting things like digital forensics, for example, and how forensics are being applied um, from law enforcement into archival and research domains historically. Um, but I want to say a little bit something today about some work I've been doing on email archives and email cultures with apologies to Martin who said yesterday how much he hated email. Um, we work a little bit with something called the Enron Email Archive. Uh, it's something you may have heard of. Um, it's been used in research in areas such as social network analysis um, and work trying to find how people lie um, in email without explicitly lying. Um, and there's been lots of language analysis of this, but I'm kind of interested in how people um, try and flag in their email things they want people to see. So, for example, when we scan through our email, we kind of decide whether or not it's a serious email or whether or not it's a, it's a, it's a kind of an informal email. I want to try and find ways of picking out those kinds of codes and the cues, from things like emphases, ways of formatting, and how people um, use salience through attachments. Um, I want to reconstruct, I guess, to give prominence to that kind of evidence. I say this is not a hack day proposal. I just want to merely state the kind of things that I work on. But if you have ideas about how someone might do that, um, please let me know. I also should say this is a really interesting data set to play around with if you have people who want to play around with relatively large but not super large corpora of data. There's lots of golf in there. Uh, there's lots of affairs in there. And there's the kind of collapse of a US multinational, which makes it super interesting. Thank you.